Hey, what's up YouTube? Silver Dragons here. Today we're going to be talking about this crazy story that's been unfolding over the last few days. It's a Texas female billionaire who purchased an insane amount of silver and gold, apparently over 900,000 American silver eagles, which is pretty crazy in itself. But some more information has come out, and uh, I want to talk about the story and also give my take on it and what I think this means for silver and gold prices moving forward. So let's do it. Okay, so first off, we're going to cover this article here on Zero Hedge. Then we'll talk about who this woman could be. Uh, Scottsdale Mint released a tweet, and they think they know who it is. Uh, so we'll talk about that, and then I'll give you my take on what I think is going on. Uh, so the article here starts off by saying there's a story circulating of a Texas female billionaire who has purchased a large amount of silver eagles and intends to buy more. This was disclosed by coin dealer Andy uh, Sheckman of Miles Franklin Precious Metals, who reportedly filled her order. Uh, no one has, as of this writing, yet ascertained the veracity of the claim. So we don't know if it's true, but this guy... I mean, he straight up said, this female billionaire, she bought an insane amount of precious metals, so either he's lying or it's legit, and I'm more inclined to think it's legit, because the thing is, if he is lying, then this looks really bad for his business. I mean, one of the main things in the precious metals space is trust, so why would a bullion dealer just make these outlandish claims, lie about them, because basically all trust would be lost in their business, and so I think it's probably true, but anyway, um, as market participants in the space for some time, we assume there's truth to the recent buys, as stated by the speaker, with a touch of hyperbole on the potential future buys as relayed from the customer. Otherwise, who can know? The key statements for us were... The client wants us to tell the world that she placed this order. She claims this is the first of several up to a billion dollars of orders she wants to place. So, yeah, this is a little strange, you know, telling everyone, hey, I made a massive order. And I have watched a couple other videos of people talking about this. And some of them mentioned, you know, where is she going to store all of this silver? Well, I mean, if she is a billionaire, I'm sure she can you know, put it in a warehouse, she can hire guards, it's not going to be a problem for her, you know, maybe she even owns, I don't know, a bank or something crazy, I'm sure she owns vaults, um, or she might even be vaulting it with someone else, who knows, but I also think that the order hasn't yet been uh, fulfilled, um, and we're going to get to that in a second, but Let's read on here. We have seen this before, and chances are, so have you. The order was likely real and had probably distorted silver premiums for months due to the supply crunch. Subsequent orders are not a given, but may happen. Uh, the two phrases listed above are very specific and designed to make a genuine statement without putting the speaker at risk. The speaker, to our knowledge, is a reputable professional with a keen understanding of the implications. Yeah, I mean, if she says, look, I'm going to buy more silver, you know, she's kind of saying, all right, this is my plan, you know, just a heads up, everyone. <laughs> I've bought this much so far, but might be purchasing more. So, you know, are premiums going to go even higher? Is this going to drive premiums through the roof uh, when I take more eagles off the market? You know, it's kind of like if you want eagles, maybe now's your chance to get them. And it is interesting, too, that she's buying a lot of silver eagles. In this video here, uh, he says she bought around 900,000 silver eagles, and she bought junk silver as well. So she got over a million ounces in silver, and then the rest in gold, because she spent $50 million, which is quite a bit of money, but I guess if you're a billionaire, it's probably just a drop in the bucket. Get ready for SD Bullion's Monster Box sweepstakes that includes 500 silver eagles. You could be the next lucky recipient of a phone call like this. This is Dr. Tyler Wall, CEO of SD Bullion. Well, I'm calling you to let you know that you won the SD Bullion giveaway of a monster box of silver eagles. So click the link below for your chance to win. 
Historically, you announce after you are filled, not before. Therefore, this order could be a legit explanation for the premium stickiness over the last several months. But we know of no one who ever stated they may buy a billion more after buying only 50 million of something. First time for everything, maybe? If the coins were in fact purchased and any amount more are bought in the future, then this whale did us all public service by letting the dealer disclose. Assume the order was real, the order has been source filled and premiums will continue to remain high through August. If she buys more, they will have to go higher. If not, they will collapse. That's the way we'll watch this. The black swan is if others get the fever to buy, the future will tell us more. So that's kind of the way I'm looking at this. It seems like she's putting this out there to say, hey, I'm buying $50 million in precious metals. You know, if anyone else is interested, this is what I'm doing. I mean, Silver Eagles do have very high premiums, but we don't exactly know how high of a premium she paid to obtain these coins. Again, when you're buying in crazy bulk, maybe she's only paying a, a very small premium over the wholesale price. And, uh, you know, this guy that's selling her the Eagles, he's still making a ton of money because it's such a large order, you know, $50 million. Uh, you don't have to make a lot on $50 million to do okay. So, uh, anyway, let's talk about this uh, tweet that Scottsdale Mint sent out. Is this the mystery woman that bought 900,000 Silver Eagles from Miles Franklin Co.? And they got a picture of her here. So I guess there's not a lot of Texas female billionaires. So um, let's uh, read the tweet. Uh, a woman in Texas, a billionaire, bought up to $50 million worth of Silver Eagles and plans on buying up to a billion worth. Um, I mean, that's not exactly what happened, but uh, uh, whatever. Um, there's only three female billionaires in Texas and only one who would still be diversified after buying that much silver. If you guessed Alice Walton of the Walmart Walton fortune, you'd be making a good guess. Now, what could convince the second richest woman in the world to suddenly turn into a hunt brother? So, yeah, they got a picture of her here. I mean, maybe she is the one that bought all of this silver. But again, she bought a lot of silver and a lot of gold as well. It wasn't all in Silver Eagles. But that's kind of the big story though, right? I mean, 900,000 American Silver Eagles. It seems kind of crazy, but you know, I guess if you're a billionaire, you buy whatever you want. You know, could she have gotten a lot more silver if she had bought just generic silver? Yeah, for sure. But I mean, look at the Silver Eagle premiums, what they've done so far. The Silver Eagle premiums have gone up way faster than premiums on really any other bullion item. So if we do see silver soar in the future, will Silver Eagle premiums go up even more at that point? I mean, is she thinking she can kind of get leverage over the silver spot price by purchasing Silver Eagles? I mean, let's think about this. Let's say silver goes up to, I don't know, $30 an ounce and Silver Eagle premiums go from wherever they're at now, 70% to 100% because the demand is crazy. Well, Silver could be at 30, but Silver Eagles could cost $60 a piece, right? But if she bought generic Silver bars, Silver goes up to 30. Maybe those are only worth, I don't know, $35 an ounce. So something to think about. I mean, did she make a mistake buying silver eagles i'm not exactly sure but this is a very interesting story uh so let me know your thoughts about this down below in the comment section do you think she bought silver eagles for some sort of tax reason do you think she just likes silver eagles do you think she's trying to get uh sort of leverage over the silver price by purchasing silver eagles i mean what do you think her rationale is for that um, and also do you think this is the woman i mean i guess there's only two other uh female texas billionaires so <laughs> but the uh, last thing i want to say on this is if her announcement of hey look i bought all this precious metals really does stir up more interest in precious metals in general right if uh, institutional investors say hey look she's buying all this silver she's buying all this gold maybe we should do the same it is very possible that these institutional investors you know the big money starts getting into precious metals and if that happens, I mean, this could actually drive up the price of silver and the price of gold, kind of like what the Hunt brothers did. 
uh, back in the 80s. You know, could we sort of have a repeat of that? Not exactly, but if there is a lot of demand, it certainly is possible that we could see prices go higher. And obviously, we could see premiums go much higher as well, right? Because if these people are just buying, you know, physical silver, uh, sort of retail silver, then obviously this is just going to drive premiums through the roof. You know, if they were taking the silver off of the COMEX and affecting, you know, sort of the paper price, then we could really see spot go much higher. So it's uh, kind of interesting, but, uh, you know, we'll see how this all plays out. I'm sure this is not the end to this story. This is probably just the beginning. I'm sure we'll get more information in the future. We'll see if this person makes, you know, another purchase down the road. That'll be really interesting to see. Uh, anyway, uh, again, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section. I want to say a massive thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in my next one. Silver Dragons, out.